good day guys welcome to my youtube channel so in today's youtube video i'm going to be talking about how i prepared for jam within a month and i scored 337. i remain medical gene a student from the amada bendo prestigious university zaria so before i kick start today's agenda I know we have new viewers that are just coming to this YouTube channel for the first time. Please do not forget to hit the subscribe button to get more videos that I'll be uploading in the future time and also like the video. For those who have subscribed already, thank you so much. Stay tuned. So recently, Jam just released the result for those that wrote the mock examination i think that was 7th of um march yes and to my observation there are those people that wrote this examination within those categories some failed some did not do well like you can see the score and this you see that there are differences now something you need to know is that if you are in a category where you did not do very well during this mock examination remember that the importance of this mock examination was just a preparation ground for you so that you can see how far you've studied and how what's next to apply for the main examination that will be coming up 19th April okay so for those that did not write this um, mock examination don't be frightened or feel as if you've not done anything keep on practicing as for me i've written jam like twice and during the process of writing this this jam exam which was three times i did not write this mock examination it's not that i'm saying that it's not good to write the examination remember i said it's a preparation ground for those that want to see how far they've gone however <clears throat> if you did not write the mock exam you still can do better like the three jam i wrote the scores were were really nice okay so um after this video i think i'll be i um, doing a video on how my three jam um, results went and how I prepared for them but let's stay tuned to this particular video on how I prepared for jam within a month and I scored 337. So guys now that the mock examination is already gone we are just left with the main examination which is the most important thing you would like to um, get a good score during the mock examination and getting ready for the main examination you still did not get so this video is really really important for all jam bites now secondly if you decided to register um late during this um registration of jam i've also been in that category and believe me you i did not look down on the time i registered i just barely focused so this video is meant for those jambites that are registered late also for those that are registered early and they still want more tips before the coming of this exam now from today down to 19th of april we are just having a month and one week to the exam so I'll be giving out some certain tips that helped me during my preparation within one month. Remember I said earlier that I was also in this kind of category of people that registered late and I only had one month to prepare, just one month to prepare. First thing first, how did I prepare within just one month? How did I prepare within just one month? So I'll be stating out four steps I took, of which the third and the fourth are the most important aspects. I won't be mentioning it yet. I'll just mention the first and the second. Please stay tuned so that you don't miss any part of this video. So guys, the first step I took after the registration on the 24th of March, 2022, was i made a plan 
a plan that took me through this process for just one month and the plans include i got a calendar a calendar like this now this calendar helps me in knowing the amount of days i'm left with just to prepare for my jump within one month i know it's going to be a, a stressful month and you have to give your all so you needed a calendar so each day that passed i made sure i stroke that day so that i will know the amount of day i'm left with like if it's for today like uh, for example today is 11th of um march i would have stroke today that I've entered today and I'm ready for today's business. So the second thing on that day, the plans I made was I got myself a timetable, very important, a timetable. And in that timetable per day, I allocated two subjects per day. Remember, if you are writing jump, you just have to sit for four subjects within, um, think, um, for the hours allocated for um the examination of that day so i allocated two subjects per day of which i also did um pass questions on that day now in the aspect of creating a timetable now i would advise this is very important this is one of the most important part about this timetable i ensured that a day i would have allocated my studying time for about 11 hours 11 hours maybe i would wake up in the morning around 6 do my house choice take my breakfast then immediately by 9 i begin my study so i for the morning study i took it from 9 down to 3 which is just 6 hours and in these 6 hours i took 4 hours for studying then the remaining 2 hours for past questions and the rest now at three when it was close to four i had to take a break i had to take a break i had to rest do some other um extracurricular activities yeah so after which i um then rested till eight so from eight down to one i started studying and it took me five hours five good hours of which i allocated four hours for the second subject and one hour for past question very important past questions now under the plans i made i also um got the jam syllabus i know there are lots of topics in our textbooks for each um subject there are a lot of topics but they are recommended um topics jump has already stated and these topics are 80 percent likely to come out during your exam most especially if you're a science student there are some certain topics you know if you are going to sit for jump you must have those topics at the back of your hand at the back of your hand very important each subject i created a column for each of them then like for example for ma if i'm writing physics i wrote down all the syllables recommended by jam and with my textbook it could be um any textbook uh, after now i'll be listing out the recommended textbooks you need to use so stay tuned so under physics i'll write down all the syllables then per day if i'm studying physics for that day and i'm done with that topic i'll go back to that column and strike that topic because i'm done with it and i will ensure that i've done past questions or um questions on that particular topic that is a priority i did for physics i did the same procedure for the remaining three topics which were english biology and lastly chemistry so we are done with the first step to my preparation for the multi-art 
before my examination, which was on the 9th of May 2022. Now, the second step, which is the second important part of this video, is that I got materials. Materials, remember, I'm adding as a plural word materials for my preparation because that month was a rigorous month I had to give my all you know I had it at the back of my mind that this is the last jump I'm going to write for the course I wanted to study and to God be the glory so I got recommended materials not just materials recommended materials and we all know the recommended materials that have been said by um, people that have written this jam and these materials include lamb lad essential um, textbooks so for my physics chemistry biology the recommended textbook I got was lamb lad I used it because it was so concise that's for lamb lad then for essential essential had essential and high school um, textbook for physics biology and chemistry I also used those textbooks now remember you are studying just for one month and the more you spend more time in your book the time and the time you are allocating you need to be very fast because you are left with one month so what I did was actually this I had to set just for a particular kind of textbook now all this textbook I mentioned you can use any of them they can help you for me i intentionally used high school um textbooks both for in um, chemistry biology and physics the other time i used lamlad that's majorly for chemistry for english the textbook i used was invincible teacher i would advise any person to prepare for jam please use this textbook invincible teacher it is well explained and it has everything you need now lastly this is the most important aspect you know that there are some topics in this textbook that you can't comprehend or understand now the best way this most important aspect of getting materials the best way is that please you have a smartphone go on your YouTube channel go on your YouTube channel download or check on those topics that you find hard to understand and watch videos on them this will enhance your knowledge and in YouTube there are, we have a lot of good teachers lecturers that knows how to explain stuff even with diagrams or any form of um, um, procedures of teaching in such a way that you'll be able to understand each of these topics now after getting your materials the next thing i did was my past questions i think um when i got my past question was 2018 yes 2018 I started preparing for jump till 2022 so um i've already been in the university so that will be a story for another day you just need to get your past questions english chemistry physics and biology and if you're an art student or a commercial student you can equivalently get the past question for those other um, course you'll be writing on very important one thing it is said that it is one thing to study it is another thing to do past question you can't go for this exam without doing a lot of past question and i advise what i did was i did past questions from for the for 10 years that's starting from if i'm to write jam this year okay yeah if i'm to write jam this year i started studying past questions of 2023 down to 2013 yes that's 10 years 
So that would be a way because jam normally show for their Christians, you know, all around. And no, I, I, I don't. I'm not a guy that preach about cramming the past Christians. No, the importance, very important, the importance of going through past Christians is to equip you during this exam. It gives you. A, a, a direction on how, you, how how you've been preparing so far for this month the last two step i took was the third is i got my mind fixed you know the decision i made concerning writing champ 2022 came late and i registered late i've said it before so I knew that this was my last jam. I had it in mind that this was my last jam. If it doesn't work, fine and good, I continue with what I'm doing. Yes, so I fixed my mind and you know, the first thing that came to my mind was I'm just having one, just one month to prepare. You know how it's going to be now? A lot of stuff to read, the, 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 the time is not um, enough. So, the, the step I took when I fixed my mind was I was diligent with whatever I was doing so you need, you need to be a, a man who is diligent or a woman who is diligent secondly I I ensured that I did not procrastinate all the plans I made you know I made sure I did not um I wasn't a falter of all the plans I made, I made sure that I took everything so serious. And thirdly, I reduced the amount of time I, I came online, that's social media, I reduced it. Rather, I took my data and um, equipped myself um, on the things I need to know for the jump. I think some of my friends were even saying, Henry, you've not been coming online for the past weeks. So I had to tell them the thing I was running. So I had to focus. This is just a way to tell you, you have to focus. You have to give your whole, your whole, yes. And then the most important part was I had to pray, I had to pray, I had to seek on God's favor and mercy during the process of this um, preparation because it's just one month you can't compare yourself with somebody who has been studying for the past four months before the, the the mock exam so this is how my preparation was and by the mercies of god the score came out on the 14th of may 2022 and it was a shock the score was 337 so it means that hard work really pays but then you need to work smartly you need to work smartly and this were the smart step i took so i've come to the end of this video i remain medical G, a medical student from Ahmad ben Rouge university if you've not subscribed to my youtube channel please endeavor to subscribe for more video and do well to like and share to people that also need this kind of need to hear this kind of um, um, storyline and how to prepare for these exams yeah thank you so much for watching